Well, this time of year when people are getting their A-level results, think about what they're going to do, and accountancy of all things is what we're going to be talking about today with Eddie here, uh, running a local company that uh, teaches and, and tra trains people to be accountants. But I didn't realise there's still a shortage of people going down this route. Why is that? It just seems to be one of the things um, at the moment, accountancy doesn't seem to be the flavour of the month. Um, an awful lot of people are going into the law profession, into various other professions, they see it as a, a more secure, longer term viewpoint but um, we've, we always need finance professionals um, there are shortages of finance professionals specifically accountants mm -hmm. in lots of different jurisdictions around the world so you throw the net open say come on in today have a look try before you buy something because I mean that's what you do you do the training but obviously on Ireland so if people don't want to go off to university would that be another route to be able to get trained absolutely what we do here is we only train professional qualifications uh, we, we tend to focus on the accounting and the tax qualifications and then also the the ex of the chartered secretaries from our perspective, we, we only do a very, very small amount of training. That's the only thing we focus in on. Mm. An awful lot of parents have come to us over the summer months with, with children and sort of said, well, J little Johnny's leaving school this year. He's got his A-level results coming out next, next week. What can we potentially do to help him out? What can we do to make sure he has a career path? He can get some sort of qualifications. And this is just an alternative route. So as, as far as qualifications before you'd be an accountant, presumably you need maths and things like that. Do you, you need to be A-level trained? No, no, not at all. No. You can come in at 16 years old, straight from GCSEs. Um, some of the qualifications don't require any type of level of qualifications from GCSE level at all. So you can come in totally fresh and we can, we've actually taken some students from 16 years old, held their hands with nothing from school because the school environment doesn't always work for everybody and they could be p potentially fully qualified within four years. There's a pictures of the old, you know, the old days with a quill <laughs> and <laughs> being quite boring, shall I say? I'm just you know, being polite here, but is it a very quiet, easy sort of career path in that sense nothing too dramatic uh, I, th I think our reputation as the, black, the brown flare brigade is uh, very well earned we do tend to be uh, risk averse rather than boring I think it is the, uh, the, the current economic environment is, is very dangerous for, for most firms and one of the things that we do focus on very heavily is the idea of uh, risk management and ethics because we, we feel that an, an ethical understanding and an ethical viewpoint of everything that's going on is absolutely critical to our, our new generation of financial professionals Right. Well, if, if it floats people's boats, you, I say you've got this open day today, but any, any time people can walk in, how do they get hold of you? Um, they can pop into our, our office on uh, Duke Street. We're 41 to 45 Duke Street, just above Harmony Homes. Or if they'd like to give us a call, they can just ring us up on 668-101. But we're here all the time. And uh, any students who are potentially studying for qualifications, and even if they don't use us for their, as their tuition provider, we allow them to come in and use our, our rooms to study in. Our rooms will be open all weekend. Um, coming up to exams, they tend to be open for about half six till 12. And uh, Monday morning, the place is just covered in empty uh, takeaway cans. <laughs>